expect. Well, it's great to have you. Uh, our question for Kramer this morning was whether or not Qualcomm's comments about handsets color the view going in. What do you think? Well, that's a good question, Carl. First, thanks for having me. Great, uh, great to be back on the show. Look, I, I think generally speaking, you know, there have been some negative data points out there. Qualcomm, you know, is probably a piece of that. But I'd probably need a lot more hands, you know, if I could uh, count the negative supply chain data points over the year that didn't prove uh, very accurate as it pertained uh, to Apple. So, look, we're still expecting solid numbers relative to, to expectations. Uh, yes, you know, revenue is going to be down year over year, but we're looking forward at this point to the September quarter and, of course, the numbers next year, which we think uh, can still improve from here. Yeah, I mean, Will, it seems like the big focus is less on what they report for this quarter, but the outlook for the coming quarters, particularly when it comes to this new iPhone cycle. And then this question about the long-term potential for the services business and the growth there. What are you, what are you looking for? Well, I, I think, Julia, you nailed it. I think investors are going to be much more focused on trying to read the tea leaves as it pertains to the September quarter and the next iPhone cycle. You know, our expectation is we will see an, a seasonal um, uplift into the September print. And typically, this is a stock that does perform well in front of that. You know, as you look at August and, and into September, um, you know, if you look over a 10-year-plus time horizon, it typically has at least some modest outperformance, uh, you know, relative to the market. And as you noted, this is a story that's very much about the expanding ecosystem, right? We've taken a long-term view on this for some time. Services has been a key pillar of that bullish um, thesis. We're still looking for solid growth there, uh, both in this quarter and as, as we move forward. Are you concerned about weakness in the Mac cycle? Do you think that'll start to pick up? And what are you seeing in terms of some of these other hardware pieces? Well, fortunately, you know, for Apple at this point, the Mac's become a much smaller, you know, piece of the business. I think the worst is probably, you know, behind us. But when all is said and done, this has been a remarkably resilient story, you know, as it pertains to the broader macroeconomic climate and, and consumer spending. Uh, and, and iPhone, which, of course, is, you know, the principal focus has been particularly resilient despite some of the challenges in, in, in Mac and iPad that aren't fully behind them. Uh, but, you know, probably start to you know, prove a little more resilient as we move forward. You know, well, um, you know, Apple kind of continually proves itself as the stock for all environments. When people are worried about the fundamentals, it's got this safe haven status uh, because of the balance sheet, because of the predictability. If we talk about services growth, I mean, even year over year, we're talking about 6 percent. That's what CPI did. So it's not as if it's really a current growth story. And then we get to a new phone cycle and it's, hey, we can focus people on what's to come. And so, therefore, uh, there's always seemingly a reason why it makes sense. But the result is an expensive stock right now, is it not? Above 30 times forward earnings uh, and maybe starting, starting to struggle a little bit uh, around these valuations. How would you treat it in terms of uh, trying to figure out how aggressive to be? Well, look, we've taken the longer term view on it. You know, I think we learned a long time ago it was a, a fool's game to try to, you know, trade the stock. Uh, and, and so, you know, we've stuck with that. And this is a story about, you know, expanding into major new TAMs, right? They're still really early in healthcare. They're really in early in, you know, financial services. Apple Pay was just, you know, the start there. And they've, you know, they've moved, you know, uh, you know further from that. And so the long-term bet is around the TAM expansion, the ecosystem strength, and continuing, you know, to grow, um, you know, it's, it's market share, you know, opportunities, you know, on a global basis. All that said, you know, valuation is at historical highs, right? And so, you know, as we laid out in our own preview note, this is a name where we'd be more aggressive if there were weakness. We're not necessarily expecting it, you know, on this quarter. Um, but you have to acknowledge that, you know, valuation, you know, at over 30 times forward earnings is, you know, is, is at peak levels right now.